what is up guys it's so bash welcome back we are back with some more mobile legends and well ruby came out and i missed the launch day so let's go ahead and pick her up that's freaking awesome and of course we get the new skin with her that's freaking amazing looking we'll check the skin out in another video definitely but right now let's go back and grab a match all right so we are going to play with ruby battle spell um she's got a lot of crowd control so if we add more maybe she'll be a little bit better equipment scheme continuous damage durability and burst damage on her recommended builds uh, we'll try out the continuous damage build to begin with. See how it goes. Welcome to Mobile Legends. All right, Ruby. To begin with, five seconds till the enemy reaches We are going the with the continuous damage Smash build. Them. So start with All some damage to begin with. Uh, be good. Slashes rapidly. Okay, and this is the one that kind of pulls them in. All right, so. I have not played Ruby yet. This is the very first time, so we're gonna kind of go through and see what she's able to do. And these are computers that we're going against. Um, I was having trouble getting Ruby in a just regular basic match to begin with. And early game, obviously, going against two people is not very smart. So that pulls in a little bit. And that did leave a little red thing over her head. So what does this do? Okay, so that gives you a little dash or something. Go ahead and regen on her and let's grab some movement speed. And try to pull this guy in. Let's see what this does. Now that's that dash. That dash can be very brutal. Now that does really help, like getting out uh, that pull ability. So I can see where, as far as CC being able to do that and then drop back out a little bit to be able to recover. All right, they're pushed up pretty hard on this tower. It's crazy for computers to actually be doing this. All right, so if you're standing still, it doesn't do anything, but if you try to move, so I'm gonna try it again. Yes, so I was holding back when I use the ability and right after it spins, she dashes away from them. So if you're looking to get away from them, that's a, that's a pretty good move to use. I really didn't know that was gonna be an out. So let's go ahead and regen up again, grab this attack. Now this is the continuous damage build. Uh, I don't know if it's really good yet. I wouldn't recommend using anything like this yet. He got caught under tower. All right, now we have the ultimate. The ultimate is the hook. So, grab her, come here chick, stun her under tower. That's what Ruby's good for right there, definitely. Catch somebody slipping and you can easily take them out. Now, yes, that is a computer. And it's obviously gonna be a little bit easier to do it to a computer, but if you do catch somebody slipping like that, it's kind of nice. Now, this one does have a 10% uh, cooldown or I could go with the physical attack and the uh, life steal. Uh, let's get the movement speed and the cooldown first. And let's see how she jungles. See if she's viable doing any damage whatsoever. She's got a decent moderate amount. It's not taking her too long to kill that guy. She did get healed right there. That was from uh, something, I'm not sure. Oh, let's not get called out. These guys are pushing under tower pretty good. Use those abilities to stay back out. And if we could catch him right here. Nice. All right, now we'll get that life steal because we definitely need it. And we'll actually just go ahead and go back real quick. Might lose that tower, but it's okay. 2v1 with Ruby is not very fun, especially with two range. 
So she's not very viable against two range by herself, obviously. Your team destroyed and the uh, that, that girl's about out of mana. Called her out of her ultimate. And that keeps me up with her, slows her down, and she's not going to be able to get away. Nice. Really good for control. All right, there's that life steal. Now, as far as as much damage as she's able to do, I'm not sure how viable that life steal would actually be on her for sustain. I mean, if you're going tank and looking to do nothing but you just tank for your team, I could see maybe. But uh, as far as building it to a damage build, yeah, I, I wouldn't go with life steal if you're going for pure damage. Let's go ahead and clear this bottom lane out some while they're down. But she's back. All right, we're two levels up on her now. So let's grab her, slow her down, use that stun, that first ability. Now it was too close to her, so it didn't really do anything. Got her with that, nice. Really, really hard to get away from. Now, as far as doing that versus someone your same level, uh, they are probably gonna get away from you because you're not gonna have enough damage, uh, especially with this build. But they are, there probably are other options that you could go with to give you more damage early game. And we'll take a look at some of them options uh, in some other videos, because there are quite a few different things I wanna kinda do with Ruby just to see what she's capable of doing now. You know, we've been waiting for several weeks to be able to get her. I was gonna say, I thought I saw one of them jump into here, but that was actually this minion. All right, so, all right, let's go over here. Help this chick out. Maybe we can take this tower right here. Now that dash ability on that helps, and you've got one on this as well. Now it's weird how it does it. I'm not sure if it's just after a set ability, if it's built into the passive. So give it a couple seconds, let it cool down. It didn't dash again. So that's what the dash we were seeing was from. They were using the V ability first, which is the spin, and then using the other one. And it looks something like this. Well, I didn't dash into him. But that seems to be the combo that they were using to be, to get the dash out of that, possibly. I could be wrong. Hello, Mr. Panda. See, I didn't dash there. I dashed after that. All right, I'm gonna wait. No dash. Get over here, boy. <laughs> That's cool. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, I could have killed that stuff right there, but uh, we're gonna help Maya, or uh, mid lane right here. Really nice to be able to catch up with them. Regen. Now this is making her look really good. I'm sure she is not this good. Uh, I am up against computers. I'm just testing what possibly can happen if you build certain ways. That and I mainly wanted to check the abilities. Now, I couldn't tell if that was a dash right there. I don't want to pull him out of the tower. There we go. Uh, magic resistance, there's Kagura. Now see, I did get a dash out of it that time. Now that's weird, is that really part of the passive? Because I'm not sure how long the cooldown for that would be. Now there's obviously a dash that's going to be always built into that B ability. But does that passive have a dash on it as well? All right, let's grab some more hit points on her. And let's check her hit points right now. 6260 at level 11, so we're not quite max. All right, let's see how good she does versus two people. It's a staining in here. Very well, especially with the level buff. Oh, is he gonna get away from her? No, we got that stun right there. I forgot about that. No, he's not getting away. All right, immediately coming up. 
All right, he's up. The slowdown off of that ability is really nice. Go ahead and grab him with that ultimate. Nice. I do have to say her crowd control is very, very strong. Uh, I've seen some comments. Of course, I didn't get to uh, play her on release date. But I did see some comments. Some people were saying that she wasn't as uh, crowd control -y as they thought. Maybe they just weren't building her correctly to be able to sustain, to do what they were wanting to do. So, let's try this. We'll, uh, we'll go in on them. See, that was really nice to be able to transition to the next character that you're attacking. Pull her into you. Didn't get a chance to pull, but the ultimate did hit her. And we'll take on Saber right here. That was the Saber ultimate. Now, if you did build into some more defense, I could see her being very, very tanky. This might be a very good character to, uh, to run with some other crowd control characters like Alpha, uh, Nana especially. Especially if you want to have a magic dealer but still have a very crowd controlling uh, composition. Now, a good thing about this is you can just move him closer to where you're at. Say if I wanted to pull him to that tower. Now, this isn't looking good. We miss with that. All right, they do have uh, two magic dealers. I'm gonna stun her. Stun is very, very good with Ruby. It helps control. Double him up with Yun Zhao. This could be dangerous. I don't know if we're going to be able to survive this. Oh, that was close. All right, let's grab some more magic uh, defense, some regen. That was pretty close. Survivability. Uh, I would say her survivability with this build would probably be at about a six. Because honestly, I'm so high in level above these guys that it, it looks like I'm doing really well nice but it's it's actually just the the levels i'm way ahead of everybody see i'm three levels ahead of this guy panda should have been able to take this chick out at this point but having her here as well it's not gonna happen so as you can see i'm only healing for about 76 that was off of the ultimate or possibly it looks like now let's take a look at the ultimate it stuns them for 0.5 seconds, but it, but it doesn't say anything about healing them. I didn't want to initiate. Okay, good. We took his ultimate there. And wait for it. Gotcha. Pull her in. Stun. No. Wow. She's got some great survivability with that. Nice. That's what we want. That's what we want. We want you to control the heroes and your ADC to just be able to sit back and eat them alive. Keep them from running away and let them eat them up. That's what this chick's gonna be really good for. Let's go ahead and go up here and uh, grab a Kai. Oh, he's caught. He's so caught. And get over here. Soon. This would look very bad if it were happening to a team. See, uh, I leveled them by about four levels, which is was it, which I expected it being uh, actual computers. I didn't really expect them to do very, very well. See if we can't grab somebody. We tried. We didn't. Go ahead and uh, finish pushing this top lane. Actually, we can sneak down in mid. Grab somebody, possibly. Bruno, maybe? No, oh, got him through the wall. Wasn't able to get the slow on him in time, though. All right, let's just go ahead and take out this tower. Hello, Maya. 
Okay, so the dash worked on that ability again that time. Where'd Maya go? I just saw her. Take a hit. Too many hits. Regen it. Your team destroyed a turret. And grab somebody. Starting to run out of mana. Nope, not quite. So her mana does very well with this build. You don't really have to worry about much mana in game. Uh, this doesn't seem like her abilities really use a whole lot of mana now. I did hear that there was a bug. I don't know what it was, uh, but we may talk about that soon. Ruby build the uh, sustained damage is not very bad, especially if you get ahead early game uh 48 13 13 and 15 assist mvp now yes that was computers but that can show you what would happen technically if someone fed ruby now there are some different things i probably would have done with the build and we will go over those i'll show you what i would change up and what i would do in certain situations because they're at two at that point, it, you know, you were building into two different types of magic defense. Now there were two magic damage dealers there, so that held up very well. That was actually good in that situation, but that's not always going to work in every situation. So we'll go over some other builds in another video. Now, if you have any questions about Ruby or just have anything to offer at all on it, uh, leave it in the comments below. And uh, if you leave a like on this video, it will help us out a lot. Other than that, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.